Hello and welcome to the first Pieces of Paint video tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to make some vintage brown paper labels. So let's get started. Right, these are the labels that we've got on piecesofpaint.com. Uh, the brown paper labels with the rounded corners. So pick a shape and draw whatever shape you want to, you want to make the label. We're going to use 20 picks radius rounded rectangle. Just draw that onto your canvas like so. And we've got a nice blue there. And transform the shape, whatever dimensions you want to go with. Apply the transformation. And then what you want to do is open your layers panel and rasterize that shape. If you right click on it, rasterize. There you go, then you've got the shape without the layer mask. And we can proceed to go into the blending options of that layer. And we're going to apply a pattern. So you can apply a paper pattern. If you haven't got a paper pattern in your list, you can click on the little arrow with a circle in the corner at the top right. We're going to use craft paper. Craft paper is pretty much what we're after. There's loads of different paper textures, so just pick one that suits you. But we're going to use this one for now. It matches what we've done before, so we're just going to stick with that. Okay. Right, now we're going to convert this to a smart object and rasterize it again so that we're left with just the shape. And now for the fun part. Now, uh, when you've looked at labels before, if you've ever looked at a nice little old brown paper label, you'll notice that there's dirt all around the edges, more than in the middle, and right on the edge you'll see this worn, lighter area where it's rubbed against things. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the burn tool. And the burn tool darkens objects. So just paint over it here, you'll see it's just darkening it. I'll undo that. And now I'm going to select a nice feathered brush. You want something with a feather, that's these brushes here. And uh, something fairly large. And go around the edge and just darken it up. Like so. You just darken the edges. and be a little bit random you, you want to muck it up, you want to make it look kind of realistic so try not to be too uniform make sure you get the edges nice and dark though especially in the corners and the next step is to take the dodge tool and the dodge tool select a feathered brush as well but a much smaller brush size and then zoom in and then we're going to go around the very edge and just lighten everything just right round the edge and especially in the corners again to get that effect as you can see it's already starting to look more realistic almost a little bit 3D just by adding these two effects to the label lightening the edge all the way around and the more time you spend on this stage the more realistic you can make it look but we're just going to do it as quickly as we can here, just to get a nice little effect on the edges. If, you, if you've got a reference picture, that's best, or if you've got a real old paper label, you can have a look at that and have a look at what kind of shapes and patterns you get along the edges, and you can make it even more realistic. It's just a case of how much time you want to put in. Okay, so that's about right. Remember, you can always be ready with Control z and Undo if if you, you make a mark that looks wrong. Add a few blotches or with a larger brush on the dodge tool just to patch it up a bit. I'm just going to zoom back out and have a look and I can see that the bottom corner looks like it needs a little bit more. So I'm going to go back in and just add a little bit more dodge to the bottom edge like so. Go round, emphasize what you've done A little bit more on that edge too, in the corner. Zoom back out. Okay. So now I think we're ready to add some scratches. And you're going to want to use a much smaller brush size to do this. 
and just click and drag from the outside in towards the middle and add some lines from the corners just start making these scratches I don't know if you can see that on the YouTube video but they should be showing up you'll see these light scratches you can increase the ex exposure if you want to make them stronger and that's in the top bar uh, just add them randomly around the label as well especially in from the corner that tends to work pretty well and around the edges some wiggly lines if you've got a Wacom tablet you may want to dig that out and use that I'm just using a mouse here just add these lines all over the place if you do any you don't like again just undo and, and make it the way you want it and then you can do the same thing with the burn tool just add some marks here and there, some darker scratches, maybe some dots. Be creative. Play with it, see what works best. Okay, and now what we're going to do is add some, some weathering effects. And exactly the same, burn and dodge, pick some interesting brushes. You can add to your brushes with this little arrow in the corner and pick a brush list, append it to add them to the brushes you've got and just find some with interesting patterns and you're going to want to use these with quite large brush sizes so that you just have to click a couple of times with the burn or dodge tool uh, and it will just add that pattern to your label like this so I've done a couple with that brush and I'm going to choose a, a different brush increase the brush size again and just add these marks to it like so and then repeat with the dodge tool, if you've been using the burn tool. And I'm going to add some interesting patterns, a couple of marks here and there. Don't go overboard. And there we have it, that's starting to look pretty good. Okay, now what we want to do final step is just to add a drop shadow there we go you can pick how you like your drop shadow, we like them at 45 degrees here at pop not too distant, play with the settings find a shadow that works for you and there we have it one brown paper label effect